campsite. We set everything up. We set everything up. I'll try not to make everybody lose my food. Peanut butter jelly time. 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 Okay, we're done with that. We'll never do that again until we get until we get drunk later. Never do it again, please. Give me five minutes. Five minutes. We only have coconut water. So I'm. Ooh, I'm so bad. Mm-hmm. That's all we have. <laughs> We're in the state park, so yeah. And I'm not showing you my face right now because I'm shoving a sandwich into it. So you just watch me shove a sandwich mm -hmm. into my face. I'm fine with letting them see you shove a sandwich into your face. I don't care. I'm hungry. And we're just gonna hide. I'm just gonna show you some scenery. Chilling like villains. So this is our little setup. She's so emotive. My tent. I know. My superior tent. My tent has a front porch. I want to point out. I need a pink tent. What the hell's wrong with me? Okay. So while they're dealing with their tents, we are going to look at taking pictures tonight. I want to take a picture of the Milky Way. If I, if I hold this like this, I, I think you can see me because I've got a giant, gigantic hat that I love so much. I love this hat. That is awesome. Okay. I'm going to try to get this up here so you can see that. Mm -hmm. Oh, defaulted back to that. No, I'll be having some room. Okay, that's not doing that. You can that. see that. Yeah, this is a little tall, but... Okay. That is where the Milky Way is going to be at midnight. Oh no, this is one o'clock. Oh, hang on. Well, back it up like an hour and the moon will be on the other side of that purple line and it won't be up yet. And I'm going to try to take a picture of the entire Milky Way. If not, I'm gonna take the galactic center and we'll see how it goes. But I have this nifty app and it tells me everything I need to know about how to take this picture. I'm not going to get into all the details because it's really boring for anyone who doesn't care about this stuff. But really quick, that's what I'm that's what I'm going to do tonight. And we're going to go right now as soon as they get their tents sorted out. And we're going to go and we're going to go see where I can take this picture where there's not a bunch of trees because with all the trees in the way, I can't take a picture of the Milky Way. So that's where we're at. Yeah. So this is our water and this is the bog that surrounds it. The bog of eternal stench. <gasps> what? What was the name of the bog in Princess Bride? You know, with the R O U S S. Uh oh, God! What was it called? What was that called? I don't remember. That is what this is. Well, can't we just call it the bog of eternal stench? <laughs> Something like that. No, no, that was from the lab. That was from Com Labyrinth. Complete what? with um, alien condoms. R O U S S. Yeah. Rodents of unusual size. Oh, that's right. Um, oh, what was the name of it? The, uh, oh my god, I'm gonna have to Google that now. Thanks, Jen. Oh, Jen's gonna Google it for us. Did, so, these are our classy, the my math? these are our classy bathrooms. There's our campsite down there. Wait, here's Jen pointing out the classy bathrooms. And look at her hat. How cute is the vintage hat? The vintage hat is cute. And then Colleen's wearing her, um, Jen's other hat that is pretty cute, too. It's not as good as my Lydia Dietz hat, but you know, I mean, it's the groove, it's the motion. You know, I'm not editing this out, right? Stripes are the way we are feeling. Not editing a single bit of this out. This is how we roll. All right. What is the name of the swamp from Princess Bride? Now this is going to bother me now. According to Wikipedia, after facing many trying ordeals such as snow sand and rodents of unusual size, Wesley and Buttercup successfully navigate the fire swamp. Fire, fire swamp! swamp. <laughs> Ow. We can't do anything because we, we keep bumping hats. We're like, everybody has to maintain a certain amount of space. You know what? Maybe Ow, this is the I answer keep to all of our public transportation woes. Everybody should just wear large brim hats so you're forced 
to like observe that, personal space. You remember, remember that, that outfit that like grew Caroline. spikes if anyone touched you? shadow everybody wave there's everybody waving at the shadows so look at this look at this clear sky all the way around to where I need to be and also doesn't blind do us feel kind of perfect, look how though, pretty this is, for 18 and younger. is it yeah there's not gonna be any 18 or younger people here in the middle of the night I'm taking pictures of the Milky Way I have no interest in anybody 18 or younger in fact I hope they go away okay. anyway so this is probably where I'm going to take the shot. Uh, apparently it's the young yeah, little kid like area, but at midnight, there's not going to be any little kids here. There's not going to be any little kids. And we're not going to be loud. I'm just going to here, shut up my shot, try to take a pano from here to here. Oh, oh, here. From here to here. And again, look how pretty that sunset is. Oh, so pretty. And that's what we're going to do. So now we're going to go look at the lodge. So we'll catch you then. Yeah. That's not funny, Colleen. What funny? I'll point my camera at you. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. This is on the way to Starved Rock. Starved Rock is Starved Rock because one tribe of Indians cornered another tribe of Indians up there and tried to starve them out like a siege. And Too much nature. that's pretty much what happened. What are you talking about? Where? Let me see the nature. Is it good nature? It's a, it's a, it's a, uh, what do you call it? Harvestman, not harvest. Well, yes, day long legs. <sighs> Colleen, that's too much nature for Colleen. I won't tell Colleen about the ones that keep crawling all over my tent. Shh. What? Nothing. Oh.